for the for the fire personnel here that may be interested in launching something like this and I'm just going to touch real quick on what I advise your next steps to be you go back to your respective departments get together some motivated people who you think might be interested in supporting something like this or driving it get together start having some conversations across the table great things happen start talking with your law enforcement agency your other your, the you know the other piece of this and hopefully you guys have a good relationship there start having discussions start looking at your community start to identify groups that you may want to work with on this project because you can't do it alone mm -mm. you can't do it make it a community thing not just police fire and social services make it a community thing that's how you get the community behind it get business owners and all those entities that, that director Malloy mentioned before start having those discussions I didn't talk about the community paramedicine piece buzzword and community risk reduction right this is a great opportunity to introduce a social services based community paramedicine program which we've, we've which we've kind of transformed this thing into as well so start having discussions get together some people who are who are drivers of your agency say hey here's a model how can we take this and do some of the things maybe that they did but make it so that it fits mm -hmm. our agency and our community those are your next steps and um, you know, our business cards will be up here. Feel free to, to reach out to us if you need further direction on that. I'd be glad to give you specific information, but I don't think you guys need that, right? You guys, you guys are the leaders because you're sitting here. That's what makes you leaders, whether you like it or not. All of our recruits that come in through our department, I run an orientation program, and every time a new recruit sits in a chair, first thing I have them do at orientation, one of the first things, I have them write on a piece of paper, I will make a difference, and they sign it and they date it. I said, take this piece of paper, Put it in a drawer somewhere at home. When things get tough, I want you to pull that piece of paper out and say, I'm going to make a difference. You guys are here because you want to make a difference. Be that driver. Start having those conversations. That's all, that's all it took for us. As we started, we talked. I'll sign off. Thank you, guys.